All right, today I'm going to go in and uh, clean the carburetor on a Honda EU2000i uh, generator. Uh, this generator is about eight years old and it's gotten to where it's got a really rough idle, uh, especially when it's on the Econo mode. I know it's, even though I use uh, ethanol free gas uh, through the time, I think, you know, the carburetor's gotten gummed up a little bit. And, and while I'm at it, uh, um, you guys may have seen this online, something I've seen. There's a uh, an actual company called Hutch Mountain that makes a um, uh, I guess I'd call it a uh, electronic uh, disconnect switch. So instead of having to use the dial that Honda puts on here to turn both the gas uh, flow off as well as the electronic ignition to the spark plug off and shut down the machine, um, Hutch Mountain makes this kit here. Um, and this kit uh, will allow you to uh, basically put a switch on and bypass that so that uh, the rotary switch on the bottom just becomes your fuel flow and you now are going to have a push button switch up on the top of it that will mount right up here uh, that will allow us to um, turn the engine on and off and what you can do then is uh, the purpose of it is it allows you to shut your fuel flow off leave the engine running for a minute to run a, the gas out of the carburetor and pull your carburetor dry and then you'll flip the switch here to shut the engine off uh, at, at that point. Um, so it, it allows you to separate the fuel uh, flow and the ignition uh, into two separate switches. So it's a pretty simple install. All we're going to need is uh, uh, we've got a 5 8 inch uh, drill bit, a 8 millimeter socket, uh, Phillips screwdriver, and then a little pilot bit to set the, do the pilot hole before we make the big hole. Alright, first steps: uh, remove your door so you can get access inside. I think you've got to, you know how to do this if you change your oil, change it, clean your air filter and stuff. Okay, with the access panel removed, the next step is you want to remove the air filter box here. Uh, so that we can get behind there to install the switch. Um, you basically need a Phillips head and a 8 millimeter, and it's pretty quick removal. So take the door of your air filter off if you haven't done that before. You want to take the pre-filter out. Um, again, this this portion is the pre-filter. This is your main air filter here, uh, there, and then with the pre-filter out, now you've got these three eight millimeter bolts that we'll want to loosen. I guess technically these two up here are nuts, not bolts, but Then you've got this uh, hose here that goes into the engine. You need to just pull on it, it'll slide out. Try not to pull the other carburetor hoses loose. Okay. Okay, filter box out. Alright, the next step is to decide where you want to locate the switch. And the switch is a, a, a round little toggle switch like this. Um, and so, you know, the intent is to have it up here on top. Um, I want to place it somewhere about right here. Uh, not under the handle, but protected by the handle. And also shift it far enough back to leave room later if you ever wanted to take Hutch Mountain. Also offers a uh, propane kit where you could switch from gasoline to propane fuel and they they so you want to reserve this spot if you ever wanted to switch to propane so I think I'm going to put the switch somewhere right back here all right I've picked out my spot marked my pilot hole uh, there and so now I'm going to uh, drill, drill where I'm at the pilot hole you can see underneath where I'm going to drill here it's an open cavity so there's no risk of me hitting anything um, Still, I'm always a little uh, hesitant, so I got a piece of cardboard I'm going to put under there just in case. And this plastic is soft, so I'm going to drill 
slowly through it and just make sure that you know the drill bit doesn't jump through and survive, surprise me. Okay, now we're going to do the full size hole. clean up the edges. I'm going to take a round file and clean up the uh, edges of the plastic a little bit uh, just to kind of help. Alright, now that we've got the whole 5 8 inch uh, diameter in the top of the uh, gin, the next step is to install your stickers. And the, the little kit from Hutch Mountain comes with some stickers. And the center one there is your uh, goes around the switch push button engine on and off and so before we install the switch through there we're going to go ahead and uh, put the, the sticker on uh, and prep for that uh, I'm going to clean off the plastic with uh, isopropyl alcohol uh, wipe it down a little bit just to make sure the sticker adhe adheres well okay here's what it looks like now that we've made the hole in the top we've put our sticker on it's uh, around the hole and the next step is we're going to feed the wire up through the hole from the bottom so we take the wire that comes with the kit that's going to come up through here and then we're going to attach the switch to it and pull it back through and secure the switch all right here's the switch the wires are going to attach to these two terminals right here on the switch one thing i almost did and i just recognized it is that you have the nut that comes on screws on the bottom of the or threads on the bottom of the switch to hold it in place you need to take that nut off and slide it over the wire before you push it through the hole so I've got to take the nut off of this switch here uh, and go back, pull the wire out, and put this nut over the wire. So now, when I attach the switch uh, to this, then we'll see that uh, um, both the, or the, that I can put the switch through and, and then tighten it up. Um, Phillips head screwdriver will reduce, open up these terminals and then you just slide the wires in uh, to connect the switch. Alright, you can see we've got the wires connected to the switch terminals. Now it's just to feed it back through, put the switch in place like that, and then we'll take the nut and secure it on the bottom. Okay, switch is mounted in place. You can see I've got it snug down in the bottom. Next step is we're going to tuck the wires in behind here, come down and the kit comes with a plug that matches up with the, the factory plug here. This, this line here, the wire comes around and attaches to the factory switch. You just need to squeeze this to unhook it. I can do it one-handed. I may have to set the camera down. Nope, got it. So just take this, plug this back together, uh, put everything behind there. I'm going to use a tie wrap that comes included in the kit to kind of secure this wire back in the back and then we'll be ready to uh, put the air cleaner back. Alright, with the wires all in place and uh, snug down, uh, the next step is to put your uh, air cleaner back in. Um, so you got to come in here and push this back up in the slot there, like a little force like that. Then you slide it over the three these two bolts on your carburetor. Make sure your carburetor gasket's there and you didn't lose that. The carburetor gasket fits there. Get your air cleaner lined up over these two bolts. Slide it in place. Everything's in place there. Then you take your um, eight, or eight millimeter uh, nuts over here. Um, and then you've got your eight millimeter screw that goes in back here uh, that will uh, we'll snug up. Put the cover back on and then it came with a sticker we'll take this sticker off and put another sticker on that uh, specifies that that is uh, fuel
take this sticker off. I'm going to use a heat gun, apply a little low heat on it. And then uh, a lot of times when I'm working on plastic surfaces, I actually use a guitar pick to help keep from minimizing the scratching on uh, versus a razor blade or something that would probably scratch it. But you can see once you get it warm, it, uh, it starts to peel up. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, see if I can get this hot enough to go uh, to peel on off now. Fix my isopropyl alcohol again, clean up that surface, and then uh, we'll put the new sticker on. Alright, here's the finished product. Uh, you can see up top now we now have a engine stop button. Down here we've got now, if you look closely, it tells you the gasoline is on, or, or the gasoline is off. This switch, as you notice, will no longer shut it off. You can hear it running still running because it's running off of the gasoline that's left over in the uh, in, in the carburetor bowl. So if you want to turn it off, you come up here, you hold down this button here, that's now the off button. So there you go. Uh, that's installing the Hutch Mountain um, carburetor uh, gumming up elimination kit, which is designed to shift uh, the electronic uh, ignition away from the gas and the, the whole plan there is to uh, turn off the gas, leave the engine running until it empties the carburetor and then uh, you're less likely to gum up the carburetor. Still recommend using non-ethanol gas and possibly Stabil in addition.